What's good, YouTube? You're back with the Prez. Today I'm bringing you body weight only push workout. That means we're gonna be hitting shoulders, chest, tricep. We're gonna be mixing strength training with a little bit of hypertrophy training. That means we're gonna be doing low volume and a little more higher volume working in the hypertrophy rep range. So let's get it. And this could be scaled. I'm gonna be doing workouts that can be scaled for beginner, intermediate, and advanced. You guys know I've been dealing with the elbow injury, so I'll be working around that and I'll be giving you guys regression to the exercise I'm doing can't do the full version that I'm doing. So stay tuned and let's get it. All right, so we're starting off with shoulders like always. And the first exercise is gonna be a strength-based exercise. I'm gonna be doing paused handstand push-up reps. We're gonna be pausing in the 90 degree eccentric part of the rep. Now, if you guys can't do eccentric push handstand push-ups yet, you guys could do handstand holds for time, freestanding, or if you can't do that, go on the wall and work your handstand time on the wall. And if you're still not comfortable at working upside down, you could work at L sit holes now for your first exercise for time if you're a complete beginner. So exercise one, pause handstand push-ups. that lower volume rep range one to five rep range when working in that strength range so I'm gonna take two to three minute breaks in between each set now and I'm gonna aim for four more sets and try to get two more reps each set so I'll accumulate ten reps total in the five sets for exercise one let's go Five rounds, pause, handstand, push up, are done. Now we're gonna go work on a little more front delt work. And we're gonna be doing supinated grip push ups. Remember, we're gonna be in that protracted position, everything engaged. We're going four sets, 12 to 15 reps here, 60 to 90 second breaks. Let's go. Remember, supinated grip, that means palms facing away from you. push-ups now we targeted the whole delt the handstand push-ups then we hit a lot of front delt focus with those supinated grip planche push-ups now we're gonna go to some chest work and let's get it come on all right so moving on some chest work now if you guys watch my basic body weight strength training video you guys know that I'm very big on doing straight bar dip support holds right they're gonna build a lot of stability in the entire arm the wrist elbow shoulder joint in general so now we're gonna do straight arm dip bar walks and at the end of the walk we're gonna rep out dips i haven't been able to do loaded dips due to the injury so i'm able to make the body weight dips harder i'm gonna be adding the first movement of the dip bar walks and i'll be doing slow controlled negative dips on there 
Three second down, one second up. So I can hit that eight to 12 rep range. Four sets of this, let's go. So when doing these eccentric dips, you want to focus on the three, zero, one tempo. That means three second negative. When you hit the bottom portion of the rep, you don't pause or anything. You immediately go back up. So it's three second negative, zero second pause on the bottom, and a one second concentric rep back up for a four second total rep. And again, we're aiming for eight to 12 reps here. Doing these four second dips will make the body weight dip a lot harder being able to make you work in that hypertrophy rep range in that 8 to 12, 8 to 15 rep range. Four sets of straight bar dip walks into a three second negative, one second concentric rep dip. So we have four sets of that. Now we're gonna move on. One more chest exercise, so let's get it. All right, so to wrap up the chest routine, we're gonna hit 100 push-ups. Now I'm gonna just do four sets of 25. Now if 25 for four sets is too high for you, you could do 10 sets of 10, or you could do however many reps you gotta do to hit 100 reps. Keep that 100 rep number as a check mark, and try to get better at it each time you do it. So 100 push-ups, I'm going for a set to 25. Let's go. All right, after those push-ups, I was feeling pretty warmed up, elbow was feeling pretty good, and I had the band set up because my pops was doing banded pull-ups. So I said, you know what, let me try doing a band-assisted muscle-up, because that's what I was practicing a few weeks prior, actually, right before I actually got injured, I was doing banded muscle-ups again for reps. So I got up here, and actually, these muscle-ups didn't bother me too bad. It was the eccentric, it was when I was coming down back to the dead hang, where I felt a little pain in the elbow. But I don't know if you guys could notice, when I'm in that locked out position, you guys can see my right arm is not fully locked out. It's a little unstable, and I am feeling a little shaky on top. There's no pain there, but still a little instability there. That's why I'm going to be doing banded muscle-ups for a while, just to get back and build up that strength. Now you can see I froze the frame for you here. You can see my right arm compared to my left arm at lockout. The left arm is fully locked out. The right arm is not.
So that's a wrap. Four sets, 25 pushes, right into five muscle-ups. You can see that fourth set, the muscle-ups I was starting to fatigue, only caught one. I don't want to force them out. I caught the five clip every set up until that one. That's a wrap for the full push routine. We hit shoulders, chest, and a ton of triceps. Every push exercise that we've done today is gonna to target the triceps. The shoulder, uh, the military press, dips, the push-ups, the muscle-ups. So no need for direct tricep work when doing a full push workout, especially when hitting body weight sets. You're gonna be using all the stabilization muscles in the arms. So like I said, I gave you guys beginner variations of each, ex of each exercise. So, and you saw I'm doing banded muscle-ups while I'm rehabbing my elbow. So if you guys can't do muscle-ups yet, put a band on and do the routine with banded muscle-ups for assistance. So it's a full push workout for any level. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Bar Naturals. For a dime, top three. For a dime, top three. For a dime, look.